Hey everybody, Trina here, back with another uh, mixed media art demo. Today I'm going to be working on sort of a combination project with an artist named Louis Noble. He had a really fun post the other day that I'll link to above um, where he allowed people to download a print that he had made. So I downloaded the print and I cropped it a little bit because I had issues with my printer. But the idea is that you take his work and use it in your own work. So I'm going to use this piece that I made the other day with my jelly print and using mask. And we're going to see what we can come up with. So we've got this, we've got, we're going to collage these on with some matte medium. And then I've also, I think I'm going to use my Mongayo oil pastels today to uh, draw back into it. Of course, pencils and graphite and whatever else we can come up with. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this um, piece that I printed on rice paper. Um, I'm going to cut it, rip it and make a shape that will fit into what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm just tearing it off. And I kind of like that shape. So I'm going to rip some more shapes. See where we can kind of fit them in. Um, and see what works. So once I get my composition down, I'm going to go back in with some matte medium and glue these down to the paper. I'm putting on the matte medium and I'm gonna squish it down. It got really soggy on me. Um, one of the things I noticed about the rice paper is that when you put matte medium on it, it tends to um, re-wet the ink and it uh, kind of smears everywhere, but that's okay. It just sort of adds to it. I'm not too worried about that. You know me, I'm not a perfectionist by any stretch of the imagination. I like what we're doing here. Um, the thing I like most about this collage piece is that the marks are very similar to the marks that I already make. So I went ahead and blew it dry with a hairdryer and now I'm going to go back in with some pencils and the Mangayos, drawing some lines. Here I am using the 6B graphite Lyra stick and going in with some Mungayo oil, water soluble oil colors. Um, if you haven't tried these, uh, they're really fun to use. I'll leave a link in the description. And I just love this idea of collaborating with another artist. I think it's really fun. It's really interesting. Um, it's a cool idea, I think. Um, so making marks with some burnt sienna crayon here, and I like uh, the palette that I have going on so far. Going back in with my palette knife to scrape back into the work. Adding in some of this uh, bright green citron color, which I kind of think just makes it pop a little bit. And I'm going to draw some lines here. I don't usually do this, but it felt like it needed something. I don't know, some definition, some movement to divide the space up a little bit better. And I'm going in with some white and adding in some white marks to make parts of it stand out even more. I didn't really do a whole lot to this piece. It was pretty simple. I like to keep, I was trying to keep it from getting too messy. Of course, my black. This time we're using black uh, oil pastel instead of my black marker. I think it really stands out. And yeah, so please check out um, Lewis's site. He has some really awesome videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this piece. If it's something that you might want to do, maybe we could do one 
where I make a drawing and you collaborate with me. Um, so until next time, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye.